This is our Land Rover Series 3. It's done about 10,000 miles. Genuine mileage. Not many about you see like this, especially in its condition. I'm gonna run you through the outside inside. Taking my uh, drive. Underneath's all good. Spent most of its recent years in storage. I've started up in a sec. And more recently it had about nine, 10,000 spent on the uh, underside. I'll show you the underside again shortly. those of you that follow our uh, TikTok, Facebook or Instagram, I said it looks a bit like the uh, Land Rover used in Sean the Sheep. I know it's not the exact one and I know it's not the same year, but it reminds me of it even so. It's got that um, farmer vibe to it, look -a bike, cream top, cream wheels and blue panels on the body. Turn it on in a sec. I will just show you around the outside and underneath so you can hear me. And I'll start it up so you guys can hear for yourself what it sounds like. So what is really surprising about this is the how tidy it is underneath because I haven't seen many Land Rovers that are this dry underneath. So recently, like I said, it had about nine, ten thousand or so spent um, on suspension, brakes, and all that underneath. Hopefully, you can see that it's got some new parts under there, some shiny bits. Chassis has been galvanised. It's all looking well, in really, really good condition. Good work in order. I'll show you the, uh, the rest of the underside. I'll start up after. It's hard to, uh, I mean, generally speaking with classic cars, you can normally quite easily, should I say, find faults with them. But with this one, I'm struggling to, I'm sure. For most of you watching this or any Land Rover lovers out there will struggle to find anything that stands out that you're not too, uh, well, I'm just not too sure on, but just anything doesn't seem right. It's all... Nice and tidy. It's all clean. I mean, this is like it on all four corners. I mean, if you could spot anything, and please uh, do say, because I certainly can't. Start it up now. Starts on the button, or well, the button we're using the key. Now, if you can't hear me as well, or as good, I do apologise. I'm sure, there we go. 10,000, start up. There we go. Engine's cold. the interior 
I'll just show you quickly around the interior and then I'll take it for a drive so you can see what it's like yourself. Oh, you just get out. All oh, the doors are all clean, as you can see. Seats are in good condition. And believe it or not, I've driven this car already, or this Land Rover, and the seats are a lot comfier than what you might think. I'll show you around the other side, the back, the engine, and then we'll take it for a spin. Or a test drive if you like. So you guys can get a feel for what it's like. Sail side down there, so hang down. Right, let's get in the back. too quickly on here I'm just trying to uh, show you around the hole inside and outside of the car without taking too long so yeah uh, get out now and show you the uh, under the bonnet bear with me here guys uh, This Land Rover's been with us for about, give or take about a week or two. Oh, and okay, to off. But it drives very nicely. You won't find another Land Rover like this. Guys, it's done, what, less than, it's done 10,300 miles or so. It's, or less than 10,400 miles. You won't find another Land Rover like this at the moment. I mean, I, I've, like, I've been looking, I can't find one. It's got a galvanized chassis. A lot of the uh, brake suspension underside of the car has been treated um, like I've shown you earlier on I very 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 much doubt there's another Land Rover like this at the moment in this condition with this mileage this sort of year it's just they're not these Land Rovers don't come about come about often it's fantastic it's a it's 
a farmer's truck. It's a farmer, right? I'm trying to do the farmer accent. It's not going well for me because I'm not a farmer. But it's got the farmer characteristics. It's got the fun side. It's practical, it looks good. And it gets a lot of attention. It's just a, it's a good land driver. It's a good old landy. The brakes are good, the clutch is good, downshift. Nice and easy, it all works. There we go, going for a tunnel. Nice and easy. Now if you're young like me, you'll love this. Well, say that, just saying it into your Land Rovers rather, but to be honest, I've never driven a Land Rover from this sort of uh, era before. And I fell in love with it, driving it, well, driving it for the past five minutes, although I've driven it a bit before today. And to begin with, you're like, oh, well, this is different because it's not a Land Rover, it's what we're used to on the road. I'm used to seeing a, you know, a uh, 2022 plate or 22 plate Range Rover on the road. And this is something a lot older. It's got a lot more heritage backgrounds. It's an old proper Land Rover. And you fall in love with this car right from the second of putting it into gear and putting it away because it's something, something different. It's no point of classic cars, they're, they're different. I'm trying not to wobble on too much about this Land Rover, but it's, I'm just trying to explain for someone who is outside of the Land Rover life how good it is. It's a good landing, say that for the fifth time or sixth time. And obviously if you're into your Land Rovers then you'll know what exactly what this is, exactly what you're looking for. And to tell you the truth, like I've said, I don't think you'll find another one like it. I'm not just saying it. I'm just being honest. Good working order. It drives better than you might imagine. It's a good one, this one. I like it. I love it, really. So, guys, I hope you got as much information from this video as you can. I hope you've got a... Uh, a little introduction of what this Land Rover's like to drive for those of you who are, might be travelling or viewing this car from a long distance away you now know what it's more like to drive gear changes are nice pulls away nicely so you're welcome to view this car at our showroom give us a call to a range appointment on 01277 563 561 uh, we're based in Essex in England obviously um, postcode is CM13 one TJ, we're in Brentwood and um, Hutton. So yeah, give us a call, book an appointment to view the car and test drive it, of course. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.